Welcome to Open Data Philly, the public portal that connects people with Philly data. Open Data Philly is a portal that provides access to data about the Philadelphia region. Most of this data is in the form of downloadable data, online apps, and application programming interfaces, or APIs, which is a fancy term for data that can be used by a programmer to create a computer application program. There are other formats as well, and we use the term data sets to refer to any of them. There are currently nearly 300 data sets, applications, and APIs related to the Philadelphia region and include not only municipal data, but data from universities and commercial and nonprofit organizations as well. Open Data Philly is based on the idea that providing free and easy access to data information encourages better and more transparent government and more engaged and knowledgeable members of the Philadelphia community. Simply accessing data, however, is not the ultimate goal of Open Data Philly. By connecting people with data, we're hoping to encourage users to take the data and transform it into creative applications, projects, and visualizations that demonstrate the power that data can have in understanding and shaping our communities. So, how can you use the data available in Open Data Philly? The easiest way is to simply go to the Open Data Philly website and search. To access Open Data Philly, use any internet browser and go to www.opendataphilly.org. This is the Open Data Philly website. You can see that there is a search data box in the center of the page, just below the welcome text. You can type one or more keywords here to return all of the entries for that keyword. Let's try this now. Let's type maps into the search box and press enter. You'll see we get a list of 58 map portals. Note that these are all map portals and each one may contain dozens of maps and collections of map data. Let's scroll down until we see the city maps portal. You can see a basic description of the available data and just below this, we can see that the data is in the form of HTML meaning a website. Click City Maps Portal. We then see a page with basic info about the City Maps Portal, including the organization and department responsible for creating the portal and other general information. Clicking the Topics tab will show the various categories or topics related to this portal. Let's go back to the Dataset tab, then click on Explore and select Preview to see some preview information for the City Maps Portal. This takes us to a page that contains the full description of the portal. Click Download. As you can see, this has taken us to another portal entirely, the City Maps Portal for the City of Philadelphia. Click City Facility and Service Area Maps to get more information. Now let's get back to the Open Data Philly site by again typing the web address in our browser. This time, notice that just below the search box, there is a heading labeled Browse by Topic, and beneath this heading there are numerous data categories. These categories are quite broad in range, and include all of the different types of data available on Open Data Philly. For now, let's just pick one category, Arts, Culture, History. Here you see we've returned 26 portal results that are related to arts, culture, and history in Philadelphia. Let's take a quick look at one of these, the Greater Philadelphia Geohistory Network. It's on the second page of results. This is an interesting one because it contains many historical maps of the Philadelphia region. Clicking the link shows us the data set, topics, and other tabs like we saw before. You can see there are three data links listed. Let's look at just one, the Geohistory Network Interactive Map Viewer. Click the Explore button next to it and click Download. Again, we are taken to another website, this time, philageohistory.org. Let's uncheck Modern Street Labels and 1942 Land Use Maps and check 1808 Philadelphia and Vicinity. Here we see a map of Philadelphia as it was in 1808. If we zoom in, we can even see that back then there were no bridges yet to West Philadelphia and the only way across the Schuylkill River was by ferry. Unchecking 1808 Philadelphia and vicinity again shows the map as of today. 
Let's go back to our Open Data Philly tab and view a few more categories. Go back to the original tab in your browser and click the Open Data Philly logo. Looking again at topics, you can see there's a wide gamut of categories. Budget and finance, Philly economy, elections and politics, health and human services, public safety, real estate and land records, and even more. Let's click on food from the list. And look what we have here. Happy hour and drink specials. Where else on the web can you get real estate records and happy hour specials all under one roof? That's what's so great about Open Data Philly. It's not just about municipal records, although it does have just about every municipal record you could imagine. It also has lots of information about arts, culture, and fun in Philadelphia. So we hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. For more tutorials and for more information, please visit www.opendataphilly.org.